Okay, so now we're going to build a Zapier integration, which notifies us every time large quantities of tokens move through the Arweave network via Slack. So first we add the Arweave application again, and then we say we want to um, yeah, get transactions from the network. So it'll get some sample transactions. And then we can have a look through the kind of data that the sample transactions contain so we can see what information we're pulling from the network. And if we haven't uh, got the transaction that we're looking for, the sample transaction, uh, then we can just press that get more samples button. But for now, we're just going to use this transaction C. Okay, so now we need to add a filter just like before. So this time we're looking to filter on the quantity of tokens that have been moved through the system. So this is uh, a number of R, not Winston, the base unit, um, but that's what everyone's used to using. So here we'll say 10,000 R, and it'll test, and against our sample data, it says that it would not have continued, which is exactly what we want, because that's a smaller transaction. So now we finally just add a Slack integration step. So we say Slack, but uh, if it's not already on that list, you just search for it in the bar above and it works. So we're gonna to post to a channel. Uh, I've already connected my Slack account, but if you haven't, then you just have to press the button there. It's quite simple. So next you pick a channel to write to, and here's a bit of um, yeah, an insight into what goes on in our Slack. Uh, so we have a Zapier integration channel set up, so we'll search for that. And there we go, that's good for us. So with the message text here, you could take some data out of the transaction directly, but for now, we're just going to write a new large transaction sent through the Arweave network. So there's lots of other kinds of, um, yeah, specifiers you can make with the Slack integration. So you can say the bot name, we'll call it WhaleBot. You can also give it a fun icon. Uh, our actual one has a real picture of a whale. Um, yeah, and you can add uh, image links and so on and attach it to threads and all sorts of stuff. Uh, the Zapier integrations themselves tend to be quite in-depth, which allows you to uh, build, yeah, an awful lot of interesting stuff. So we test the integration. I get a Slack notification on my mobile, which is great. And then we press finish. Now we just need to give it a name. And like always, we turn it on.